What we're looking at here is a area that uh, realistically is a trip hazard. Looks like it's about an inch lower on the left hand side than the right hand side and this could be from two things realistically either it was built this way which um, it shouldn't have been or um, the left side actually has sank um, into the soil the soil sometimes if it isn't compacted thoroughly or if you have expansive soil don't forget expansive soil can actually lift something up when it gets wet it will absorb water and lift it up it expands um, but uh, realistically um, if it wasn't built this way and it did sink over time and again I see this on walkways all the time there's a good chance that there isn't any rebar somebody hadn't doweled any um, rebar or something into the existing foundation and uh, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about here let's just pretend like this is a side view of the existing walkway and of course I didn't draw the soil in soil would be underneath the walkway and if you were actually going to pour a new walkway next to it and just pour it without any rebar you weren't going to use any type of doweling and again I'll show you some pictures at the end of the video what the doweling looks like if you don't use any type of something to pin the concrete together something to keep it from lifting or sinking or should I say at least reduce the chances of it from lifting um, or raising then you could end up with something like this where one section of the walkway either raises or lowers over time um, giving you an offset or a trip hazard now there is one way you can reduce the chances of this happening and that would actually be to drill a hole into the concrete the existing walkway um, I would recommend a minimum of two inches three inches and four inches would be better um, and then cut about a 12 inch piece of rebar and simply drive it into the existing walkway and then pour the new concrete slab or sidewalk uh, around the rebar and hopefully it will be in the center of the new sidewalk try not to bend it again you're going to need to drill these holes as straight as possible and if you do end up drilling it at an angle and the contra and the rebar is is uh, actually protruding up a lot of times you can just stand on it and push it down but be wary that uh, if the rebar if the sidewalk on um, the existing sidewalk um, if you've drilled it uh, in the wrong spot and you go to push down on it you can actually break the other um, side of the sidewalk I've seen that happen before so be careful try and drill it right the first time and in the next uh, picture I will give you an example of something we did a long time ago where we needed to dowel into a floor slab for a supporting post this was going to be a structural post and you can see the dowels there they are look like they're number four half inch rebar and these are actually epoxied in you can use epoxy if you want to um, but uh, I really don't think it would be necessary on a walkway but don't forget that this application can also apply to other sections of your home also one time I did a plumbing job where we had to tear out the slab or tear out sections of the slab cut it so that we could put the plumbing in um, the waste pipes and I had to go and dowel all of the uh, concrete look something like this similar to this um, to keep the floor from lifting because a lot of times when you do um, remove soil you remove dirt from underneath the house um, in order to put pipes in or something like this and you don't dowel it if you don't dowel it, you'll end up with the same problem it will actually raise or lower over time I've seen that happen too many times and uh, so just if you put the dowels in it will provide you with a little more structural reinforcement um, and sometimes that is money well spent trust me